we focus on spatial reasoning, we're often working with materials, there's a kinesthetic aspect, there's a visual aspect, there's a creative aspect and a very playful aspect to it. When we started looking at what they were actually doing when they were playing with geometry and spatial reasoning, they were composing things using Diff different shapes, for example, and you can see how that can relate to number sense. It all works together in kind of a seamless whole, so you can get to fractions, you can get to algebraic reasoning, you can get to measurement terms, and all these concepts kind of, kind of marry themselves well together. What we're actually doing by inviting them to engage spatially is that we're getting to see talents that would not necessarily be talents that would be looked for, recognized in children, and they are coming to see themselves as mathematicians who can do and are competent, even if the beginning expression of their mathematics is in spatial. When we start doing this work in spatial reasoning, we often discover these kids that they often have these strengths in these other areas that have been untapped. And for them, that, you know, we discover all of this untapped potential in terms of learning in mathematics. Not only was it helping to build their confidence, but sitting down and doing some of these activities was really helping learn the three V's. They're visualizing, they're verbalizing, they're verifying. With spatial reasoning as an approach, there's sometimes less language involved. And so because of that, um, the student who might have other kinds of language barriers or challenges could really demonstrate their understanding and build a deep understanding of an idea because they're using a spatial reasoning approach. It's enabled students to problem solve in a better way because they're manipulating objects. They can change their thinking and um, show me more what they're thinking and so they're able to verbalize what they're doing actually and I'm seeing that they're carrying that strategy across the curriculum. The classrooms when children are engaged in spatial reasoning activities in these playful activities there is a buzz in the room and when we offer professional development when we're working with teachers there is the same palpable energy in the room that just it, I think why I'm most excited about spatial reasoning is that it allows an in to mathematics for everyone. You see it all the time. Kids have this natural um, proclivity to build. They want to build things. They want to construct. And that is basically what um, composing 3D figures means. The way we see it though is a little different. We want to kind of mathematize it a bit. We want to make it a little more mathematical and that's what we try to do with a lot of these activities but we want to really pull out the mathematics and draw children's attention to the math involved in, in building. You talked about us as spatial beings and how we constantly are manipulating ourselves in time and space and it was like, mm, yeah, absolutely. And bringing that to the kids in playful tasks was so natural once we made that connection that that's where the, the most exciting learning was happening. Just the possibilities it has for making connections across the curriculum. We are bringing children important, important mathematics, but not in the way that many people perhaps frame math. All of the activities that we've developed in all of this work have a focus on a playful approach to pedagogy, so children are having fun. And what we see all the time when we're in classrooms, in some of these classrooms, we see that uh, there's huge enthusiasm for this approach, and that's all you really want is for kids really to love math and to see and appreciate it uh, for what it is.